Hello everyone, welcome to Nubo Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new typography tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create an abstract typography animation in Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So after create your composition, and as you see here in my comp, I have this text layer. So first thing I'm going to do is create a mask. So jump here to Polygon tool to create a mask. And you can use here these up and down arrow to change the mask shape. So I'm going to go for something like this. And then here on text, we have these path options, so you can select your mask you just created, and you can see how the text just jump in this mask. And here you can reverse that if it is inside. So you can actually change the size and other things here. So as you normally do with the text. So and now I'm going just to copy these and hit space to actually let's just copy and paste that so now we have filled these path here so you can basically just type whatever you want and you can also use spacing if you want to so so I'm going to leave that as it is right here and then basically we want to create animation for this so here we have first margin and the last one so this is how this is going to be animated right there so let's create keyframe and at the end we can add there 200 so now this is animating like this let's give it a preview here so you can see basically how we have a jump on the vertex right there and that's actually a problem so we need to fix that basically here so to fix that we're going to use a convert vertex tool here all you need to do is click on the vertex it's going to change that to bezier so just hold these and hold all to move that so we're just going to create tangents there so we're going to do the same thing for this one as well something like this to preserve the shape and so let's preview that to see the difference so you can see how smooth the animation right here then on the rest here you can see how it jump here and how smooth the character animating here so we're going to do that to the rest So you can see now we fixed the problem here. So everything is smooth animating on the path. So and now we're going to pre-compose these tags. Let's rename this typo01, move all attributes and hit OK. And then what I'm going to do here is hit S to make this smaller right there. First, let's basically to center these on our comp and then just duplicate these, hit S and let's make it right there so let's put that right here Control d and just going to do a few duplicates here something like this so and now i'm going to open the same comp here and then just duplicate a second one here and so the, the second one let's give it different look here so we don't need fill and we're just going to leave it with stroke here so now I'm going just to replace it with few of these comps here so select in these ones and then just replace it right here so we're going to have something like this So for the second one, we can actually change the animation or reverse the animation here. 
So let's put that to minus 200. So now the second one is in the opposite direction. So now we have two different animations here, something like this that looks pretty cool. So now I'm going to pre-compose all these and let's rename these to typo animation, move all attributes and then control D and just doing the same thing here. So I'm going to make this one bigger right here and of course we need to enable collapse transformation and also enable it inside here so now we can have Actually, you can see the text quality is changed. So now we have all these animations together here. So let's create a new null object and then just connect these two or parent them to this null. So now we can scale this up. So let's just scale this down, something like this. And let's add a keyframe here and then add basically animation to this. So let's preview this. Okay, that's look pretty cool. So now let's pre-compose this again and let's rename these to typography. And then I'm going to stylize this. So I'm going to add turbulence displays and the amount I'm going to set that to 10 just to add some subtle look there and maybe add some evolution here using times times 100. So now we're going to have some effect there and then I'm going to add CC radial fast blur here and change zoom to darkest and here let's put around 70 or 80 and Duplicate again, change that to standard, and now we can have some zoom here. And then I'm going to add CC composite here. So basically going to compose these on top. So make sure to take off RGB only. So now we have the original on top of the effects and we have the all together there. So let's also add optics compensations here and put that just behind to affect only the effects. So now we can see how it just, or affecting just the background of the effects. And then we can add one more turbulence displays at the end. So they're just maybe 15 and going to have something like this. So let's preview this. So as you see, this look pretty cool. So now you can basically change the shape or the mask to anything else you want. So for example, for this one, I'm going to change that to Roto Bezier and it's going to change that to circle. And here we can just adjust the text to fill this path. Let's just copy the size and paste it to the second one. So just convert that and just paste that there so now we have them both and you can see now everything into place so you can change that to any shape or mask you want and everything will be into place so maybe here you can just disable the last turbulence if you don't want to be affect everything else, so only here affecting the background. So as you see there. And so if you want to add here like a depth to that. You can just add a mask here and then let's add this mask on the CC composite here. 
and subtract this mask and use feather to feather that. So just creating something like this as see here. So that's it guys. Hope you get the idea and find this tutorial very useful. And if you have any questions, just comment and I will do my best to be responsive. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon. And thank you for watching.